Hello crypto community and welcome back to Crypto Ready. If you want to be ready for crypto, then you are in the right place. Today we have got some huge updates for the crypto family. We are going to be talking about XDC, Wadspay and WeChain. We have got an amazing video lined up so I hope you will watch the end. We shall continue right after this intro. Looking at the XDC chart, currently at almost 4 cents, currently ranging once again between 3 and 4 cents. But we have got some amazing news recently from SBI. Listen to this. SBI XDC Network APAC region has announced that the POC project with SBI R3 Japan is successfully completed. The POC proved that value via digital asset can be transferred over different distributed ledger technologies known as DLT, XDC network and R3 quarter platform as a form of payment to improve efficiency and facilitate inter-business settlement in trade transactions. Did you hear that? SBI, XDC, R3. We have been connecting these dots for more than two years now on this channel. We know that XTC has been involved with the big boys from the very beginning. Now the pilot has been successfully concluded and completed. So what does that mean for XTC? Well, I'll tell you what it means. It means that volume is incoming for XTC. A lot of things are going to start going live on XTC. As the pilot is now successful, you're going to get more and more onboarding of major institutional players. I mean, we don't need more. We need bigger players to go live and bring that volume in but guys it's only a matter of time the big volume is gonna come in very very shortly i think 2025 is gonna be the year for volume utility is gonna bloom this is where xdc is gonna take over the damn world because xdc is not just attacking one area now guys it's very clear now i told you xdc is gonna fit the bill for everything we've got trade finance multi-trillion dollar industry we've got cross-border value movement a multi-trillion dollar industry with dtcc involved guys they move quadrillions of dollars every single year so imagine if we had a chunk of that for the xdc network it's just gonna be amazing it's gonna be a sight to see many people are gonna be shocked and many are gonna miss the train because xdc is gonna bring us generational wealth so be prepared guys looking at the what's pay token wtk currently at 26 million dollar market cap max supply 1 billion and a self-reported circulating supply of 500 million. Almost half the supply is in circulation. The price is currently hovering between 5 and 6 cents. But guys, we've got so much to talk about. This is a very low market cap. 26 million. It could easily do a 10x from here. Not financial advice. But guys, we need to pay attention. Looking at a tweet from Totally WTK. Yeah, it's widespread technology. WTK is far bigger than people realize. Now listen to this. This is from Steve Tunstall. Widespay is working on the MasterCard relationship at multiple levels. This is additional to issuance of cards. Our focus right now is to build and deliver acceptance solutions at merchants for stablecoins. Since this is a B2B, it involves coordination with several stakeholders from POS providers, merchant aggregators, PSPs, etc. We will start delivering with first such programs later this year and many more to follow early next year. And why is this so huge guys? Because MasterCard is a global player. They have hundreds and millions of merchants on board. They have billions of customers who use their cards every single day. And imagine WTK being integrated into MasterCard and being used as a currency. And recently I heard guys that MasterCard is embedding crypto into their cards which means their technology is going to allow you to move from crypto to fiat and fiat to crypto very seamlessly so i am not at all going to be shocked to see wtk being one of them currencies because a lot of the big players are paying attention to the wide space ecosystem looking at a tweet from nodes great little snippet video interviewing wide space ceo anish jain WTK holders should be grateful for what they hold, especially right now at such a very low market cap. As he states in this video, and the best is yet to come. 
like I said earlier guys, WTK, $26 million market cap, it is just the tip of the iceberg. This project is going to be far bigger than people imagine. But let's listen to this short clip and see what Anish Jain is telling us here. I'm now with MasterCard. I used to head up the prepaid business. Um, um, and one of the things that with the prepaid business, one of the things I was responsible for was the acquisition of TravelX. And blockchain was up and coming at that point in time, which also led me believe that there could be an instance where blockchain and prepaid could come together. And that's how WordsPay actually started. Because we were more focused on B2C environment, the regulations were not mature back in 2018, or they were not even existent. Um, and come COVID and come the regulations. But we took charge of the situation and the new WordsPay was born, which is which was on a B2B model, uh, wherein we built the ecosystem and we support financial institutions with our technology and, and our expertise. WordsPay 2.0 is, is an upgradation of um, our B2B offerings. It is, it is a much more, a lot more uh, technology inbuilt. Future of finance is a question which is beyond me. But um, I think it's it's changing. Uh, it's getting decentralized. Uh, banking is getting decentralized, um, and and it's the best is yet to come. So we're gonna leave it there, guys. Everything is happening. The best is yet to come. WordPay is already involved with some of the biggest names in the world. Going to be global. It's attacking many of the regions that are fast growing in crypto adoption. So what does that mean, guys? It means that WordPay is going to be a global brand. It's going to be involved with some of the best institutions in the world. You're going to be using it to make payments. They're already working with Saudi Arabia for Hajj pilgrims already, which is a multi-billion dollar opportunity. And I honestly think, guys, WordPay has done really well from where it was and where it is today. And it's only getting bigger, guys. So pay attention to WordPay and the WTK token. Looking at a tweet from CT Ruler, for anyone that needed to hear this, as we've now got WARA, we're waiting on CBUAE to issue the rulebook for settlement on the chain. Timeframes Q2 to Q3 2024. We're two months into six of the full Q3 timeframe. We could go live at any time. Wow. It could go live any time, guys. Just like how XDC, the SBI partnership went live. A lot of the times, guys, not everything happens to plan. Many of the things we've seen over the last five years, in crypto especially, has been delayed. But eventually, it happens when you least expect it. And I think that's what WhatsApp is going to do. It's going to go live when everybody is least expecting it. And I think that is going to be affecting the WTK price very positively. Let's listen to this short clip together. Sure. Um, so, Sas, a lot is happening on, on the VARA front as well. I, I'm not speaking on behalf of VARA, but this is what, what we understand and what we hear. Um, and VARA as a, as a regulator has evolving in, and uh, it has been one of the nicest regulators or probably the best regulators to work with. Um, we have moved forward as of last week with VARA, um, where we have received our second approval which is um, a pre-operational approval, um, which that means that WARA has started onboarding WordsPay to go full operational mode, which is expected um, in April or May this year. Uh, yes, we have moved forward. There's been a few clarities which or clarifications which have come through, and I guess that's why some of the things were which were supposed to happen um, last year were delayed a little, um, which is around settlement. Now, it has been clarified that settlement, which is the last leg of any transaction, especially um, essential for our business, where um, settlement happens into a merchant, into a bank account, and where fiat gets involved, will continue to be managed by CBUAE, which is Central Bank of UAE. Um, and for that, Central Bank of UAE would be um, also issuing a rule book in quarter two of this year or quarter three. There we go, guys. A central bank issuing the rule book. What's pay again? Approvals left, right, and center. More and more approvals are going to be coming, guys. Once you have that one approval, guys, the rest follow very, very quickly. And that's how this works. Once it's proven that this technology is useful, this technology has a utility, it is going to solve and save the big boys a lot of time and money, then they will jump the bandwagon very, very quickly. And I have zero doubts, guys, that the big boys have already been involved in utility-based cryptos 
for a very long time. They know which ones are going to make it. So if you follow utility, you will make it as well. So pay attention. Looking at the WeChain WET token, currently at just under 4 cents with a market cap of 2.4 billion. The max supply is 86.7 billion and the circulating supply is 72.7 billion. 83% of this supply is already in circulation. And I honestly believe guys with the market that WeChain is attacking, which we'll be talking about shortly, it can easily do a 10x from here. Listen to this. Looking at a tweet from Splendid Might. WeChain provides a basis for trust and collaboration among individuals, businesses and institutions sustainability commitments are upheld claims are substantiated and user data is utilized as promised the public secure infrastructure means everyone is held accountable so what does this mean guys WeChain is working towards a sustainable environment which is what the whole world is doing right now we're moving to a carbon net zero a potential green environment where you waste zero energy this is what worries me about Bitcoin, Ethereum and so many other projects out there which use too much energy, which costs too much money to do a transaction on, which are too slow, slower than what we are used to right now. This is where WeChain comes in guys. WeChain is known for traceability on the blockchain. You are going to be able to track and trace an item from the beginning stages to the end stages and it's so amazing guys. WeChain is a very good project. Listen to this. A recent journal article ran a comparative analysis between Block Supply Project, IBM Trust and VeChain for blockchain based logistics traceability solutions. So let's look at why VeChain is the winner here. VeChain was specifically designed to solve the supply chain management issues that we have today, right? It was made for this purpose. It has its own blockchain. It uses its own currency, the VET token. It uses a proof of authority consensus mechanism. It is transparent and it has real time tracking. VeChain is definitely going to do well in the future because once again, it's solving a problem that actually needs solving. Being able to trace and track in real time an item that you've ordered from China, for example, you could see where and when it was manufactured. You can see the nitty gritty in the supply chain information. It's not like the tracking you see today, guys, where you order something, you can only see where it is and when it's going to be delivered. This gives you the deep down information on the exact item you've ordered, where it's come from, where it was made, serial numbers and all sorts, guys. That's just the beginning. It's going to help people to understand more about the product they've ordered. The WeChain chart looks pretty amazing. The perfect bull market so far, 250% with the rally of the first macro wave. Now the summer slump, the consolidation between the 200 MA and the main resistance. I'm prepared for the next wave. Who else is? I am ready for the next wave. I've always been ready. I've been holding the WeChain token for a number of years now. And over the years, I've added as much as I could. I've DCA'd in because I believe in the utility that VeChain and the VET token is going to provide. That's the end result. I can see the future. I can see how everything will be on the blockchain. And if your crypto is solving a real problem, then you should be right behind it. DCAing in, not financial advice, because you know it's going to make it in the end. And looking at this chart right there, 10 cents, it's just the beginning. This coin is easily going to be a double digit coin when the time is near. I think everything's been timed, guys. All of these games are being played. It's a show. All these cryptos we talk about. They have a lot of utility guys if you don't hold these do your own due diligence this is not financial advice i'm just telling you my opinion here but guys utility is gonna win the day so if you hold utility you will make generational wealth and there is zero doubt about that